Folks, we have been talking about the 53-year spreadsheet for far too long. We need to retire it. It needs to go away because you know what? We now got another year of data and we need to start talking about the 54-year spreadsheet. Yes, folks, the 54-year spreadsheet is coming. We will look at it today. It will be on the website. It will be something you can download, but you got to give me at least 48, maybe 72 hours to get it there. But we're going to look at it right now. And let's be clear. I am no longer updating it. The great John Sterling has said, I will do it for you. He is doing it. He's updating it. He's adding stuff. And uh, it just frees me to look at other stuff. So John, thank you very much for taking on that task and bringing value to the One Rental at a Time community. You are amazing. It is my honor, sir. I appreciate uh, everything you do for your community. Awesome. You want to say anything before we jump in and look at the spreadsheet? Absolutely. First off, I collect and report the data. You actually interpret and make predictions based on the data. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that is fair. I, I like to do that. I, I try to take the last 30 years. I try to look at the dominoes and make a guess of what's coming. That That is, for whatever reason, that is fun for me. So yes, thank you for doing that. My observations for 2023. We had back-to-back -back yield curve inversion years. Yep, we did. Total existing homes sold, red. Total real estate transactions, red. Median price to income ratio, red. Mm. Down payment to percent income, red. Nominal and real S&P 500 growth, even though it's gone wild this year, mm -hmm. red. Mm. Consumer sentiment, red. Real estate inventory has declined. Affordability index is down. Wage growth is actually up. And home appreciation went down. Mm. And with that, we can take a look. Yeah, so folks, if you, you'll see in a minute what uh, John means by red. He's been, again, he's really, he's the chart master. He's going in and changing colors, green, yellow, red, based on how it's doing for the trend or the average. So. Let me share this. I think this is the one. Oop. Actually, let me share with another one. That one. Let me share this one. I have two screens of it open, so my bad. There we go. This is one I'm used to. So, okay, John, uh, let's go into 2023. It's right there in the middle of the screen. Again, actually, you know what? Let me orient everybody. Uh, so, folks, one of the things that's important on this channel is this is not my data. This is data that we've collected from these sources, right, Fed, uh, St. Louis Fed. So, again, the whole idea of this spreadsheet, this is my intention with this spreadsheet, is if you went to these sources, you could rebuild this spreadsheet, right? Uh, this go spreadsheet all the way over to the right, if you would. That's where okay. you have line-by-line oh. line resources. Keep yeah. Going. So, yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ah, too far. So there you go. I love how you have the data sources even on uh, the first worksheet. So the, the reason that's important to me is a lot of people want to throw stones. There are crash bros out there now calling out this spreadsheet saying your data is wrong. Your data is wrong. It's not wrong. You're just looking at different data. It's right here. Go build it yourself. It's this is not my da data. This is not John's data. This is data that we've collected, put into a spreadsheet because we want to look at the entire picture. If you want to argue with the data, you're that's just foolish. Go look it up yourself. We give you the sources because we want you to go build this yourself if you don't like what it says. So thank you for that. You're very welcome. So let's take a look at 20. So when I think about 2023, I would have thought transactions down, which is something we called on this channel, back, back to me making predictions. Uh, prices were going to go up again. You, you nailed it, right? I nailed it. Yep. <laughs> nailed that one. Nailed that one. Um, prices were going to go up. We got that one right. Uh, both nominal and real. Affordability is likely going to be down. Uh, but that was something I really wanted to look at. And um, 
So let's go into the numbers. Let's call them BC. So I'll just highlight it here for folks. So median home prices sold. Uh, oh, then medium new home price or US median. Got it. Okay. I like it. So those are prices. New home sales. Oh, wow. New home sales were up. I guess that makes sense, right? They were buying down rates. They were doing those things. So they, uh, new home builders have found the market, right? If you can get a rate below uh, 5% or 6% for sure, you get people to buy. Existing no home inventory, sales. so they're building. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be part of the answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got, wow, look at that. Existing home sales down almost 20% from 5.1 to 4.1, roughly. Total transactions down a million. And we're down from six six point nine million. We're down two point two million sales. That's a depression. That's crazy. Nominal home prices for all the silly crash bros up there. Sorry, up seven percent. Although it's down from it's trending down. Right, seventeen fifteen seven. It is yes. slightly above the average. Right, this is now a fifty four year average. So the 54-year average is 6%. And the real one, if you're um, George Gammon, the real one, meaning stripping out inflation, is 2%, roughly, 2.1. 30-year mortgage rate, wow, look at that. Up from 3% to, um, wow, more than a double. Oof. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> ouch, exactly. Yeah, ouch. Okay, we got new home. We got financing. Look at that financing. Oh, look at affordability. Oof. Yeah, it had look at affordability has been going down since 2020. All those crash bros telling you not to buy in 2020. What complete morons. Complete idiots. Median income to median price to income. Let's look at this. Oh, it's getting better. It's getting better because I'm guessing incomes are going up. It is oh, look dependent at that. upon that number right there. Yeah. So where is that sourced from? Let's take a look. It did not come in, but I had some other sources out there that gave okay. me that. Okay. Um, so that's why it's purple? Yes. Yeah. So we highlight it purple, meaning we've got it from somewhere. So we, we will be watching this and, and changing it as the data links up. Okay. That makes sense. So again, you adjust that for inflation. Wage growth. Wow, wage growth 10%. That's on nominal. Oh, yeah, it's nominal. Okay, got it. Okay, payments, down payments. Unemployment. Now look at that. Sub 4%. Wow. CPI, 4% roughly, a little bit below. Oh, the misery index. That's interesting. Misery index is unemployment plus uh, inflation. So that's actually, it's in the middle, I guess. Yeah. S&P close. I like it that we close the date. I like it. Okay. Oh, rental vacancy. I forgot that we had that in there. Rental vacancy yeah. up. And then owner occupant. Okay. All right. This is very cool, man. Again, the purple ones are data that we're looking to collect to hopefully be reported soon. Um, but I love what you did here. And you have some charts too, right? Yes, we do. I've updated all the graphs. Yeah, look at that. All right, vacancy. I like it. Inventory. Wow, oh, that's just so eye-opening. Inventory. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Look at the average. Yeah. Yeah, we're not even to the average. Yeah. I love the decades one. You can look at what happened in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. That's a lot of fun. Stocks versus real estate. I remember that. That was fun. Highs and lows. This is important, right? You got to look at the tail risk. What, what year was the high? What year was the low? I think that's very valuable. That's fun. I love how we got the recessions in there. Yeah. You know what might be fun? I was thinking about this the other day and you... It might be a, might be interesting is maybe we can highlight the columns that were a recession like what year was a recession ah they bl they blend over a little bit maybe we could just highlight the main year that was a recession like 1970 probably 74 
80. Like we won't, because you get, I don't know, that might be interesting. Or at least maybe add a row that says recession above it. Because I'll think, have I to think, contemplate that one and see how best to do it. Yeah, because the idea I'm trying to get to is Dan Bird does this a lot on his stock charts as he layers in when a recession happens. Because in recessions, as you can see, the average is 11 months, but extensions are, you know, 10 years. So sometimes we get lost during a recession. And then, of course, the data sources. So I love what you have here. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I think uh, we've got a little bit of humor to uh, share. All right. Let me stop sharing the screen. There we go. Go ahead. All right. The first one. There's new meaning to inflation eating away at the dollar. Ah. Is that a worm eating me? I like it. I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Some political jokes. Uh-oh. Hey, Joe, boxers or briefs? What's your answer? Oh, it depends. Oh, that's bad. Bad, bad, <laughs> bad. Oh, you're going to get some hate for that one. I know. <laughs> but it was so hilarious. I had to get that one out. Nice. Um, then there's the immigration issue. Uh huh. Come in. We're not. Oh, we're. Oh, don't come in. We're not open. <laughs> there. Fixed. Oh, okay. There you go. Fix the sign. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next is a gas prices sign that never needs to be changed. Oh, no. Hi. No, welcome to lottery winners. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. And of course, uh, you decide uh, your preference gauge to determine what's empty. D tank, e T wallet. <laughs> that's good. That's good. And the last one is uh, crime. Okay. In New Orleans in this particular uh, um, right. cartoon. So uh, okay. are we turning the corner on crime? Oh, no. Wrong corner! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. There you go. Gotta laugh There's at this stuff. You gotta laugh at this stuff sometimes. That's funny. But so the what's the plan for the 54-year spreadsheet, folks? I've now downloaded it. I will send it to my team that updates my website. Their turnaround time is about 48 hours. So uh, what will happen here is you can go to my website, with it, put in your email, and it will be auto sent to you probably Wednesday. It should be updated by then. And uh, John, I appreciate you doing this for us. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right, buddy. Take care of yourself. Have a good week. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.